Let's talk about the Russia-Ukraine war now. We are perhaps beginning to witness the start of the much-anticipated Ukrainian counter-offensive. Multiple towns in Russian-occupied regions, as well as in its own territory, have come under heavy shelling. At least two people were killed in the Russian-occupied town of Makivka on Friday. The town in Donetsk region of eastern Ukraine came under heavy shelling. A four-year-old girl was wounded as well. However, it was not clear who was behind the shelling, as neither Russia nor Ukraine took responsibility. Meanwhile, the governor of Russia's Bilgorod region said that four people were killed in two separate attacks by Ukrainian forces. The governor said that two women died in the town of Maslova Pristan. This happened after the town came under shelling and the fragments struck the car in which they were traveling in. Two others were killed when rockets struck the town of Sobolevka. It lies 125 kilometers southeast of Maslova Pristan. Six people were also injured in the attack. The governor said that the victims had been standing outside the residential buildings. The governor of Bryansk region, which lies north of Bilgorod, said that four buildings had been damaged by the shelling, while several buildings were damaged in the neighboring Kursk region due to Ukrainian drone attacks, which took place overnight. The long-range drones struck nearby towns as well. On the other side, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has ordered audit of all air raid shelters in the country. This came after three people, including a nine-year-old girl, died in the capital Kiev after it came under Russian shelling. They had rushed to an air raid shelter, but were unable to open it. In a video address, Zelensky slammed what he said is negligence by city officials. Кияни знову знову публікують інформацію про недоступність укриттів, не просто про зачинені укриття, а про заварені входи в укриття, про відсутність укриттів взагалі в деяких частинах міста. Такий рівень недбалості в місті не перекритий якимись там виправданнями. As the NATO summit approaches next month, the Kremlin alleged that European members of the military alliance are playing to the tune of the United States. It also said that Ukraine's membership in the bloc will remain a problem for Russia for years. Meanwhile, the head of Russia's mercenary group has once again leveled grave allegations against Russian forces. Yevgeny Prigozhin on Friday said that pro-Moscow forces tried to kill his fighters. He said that his fighters have discovered a dozen of locations in the Ukrainian town of Bakhmut where the defense ministry officials had planted various explosive devices. This came as the Wagner group says that it is withdrawing and handing over the town to Russian forces after claiming, it, claiming to have captured it.